Your Monday morning brings us a threat for heavy rain, even severe storms with tornadoes being the biggest concern. That threat lasts until your early afternoon. Here's what we're currently looking at. Just showers and thunderstorms slowly moving through parts of the area, and that's thanks to this large area of low pressure. And this setup, in fact, which we'll get to in a second, is going to help with that severe potential. A closer look at home, though, a lot of us, especially further to the west of I-39, seeing that heavy rain moving through. Just saw portions of Oregon see that heavy rain. That's now moving closer to Rockford. Grab the umbrellas as you head out the door. You will likely need them at some point for your Monday. And we also see that heavy rain threat bringing us to a flood watch. That's in effect for parts of southern Wisconsin as well as far northeastern Illinois as well. Although at those of us closer to home may not see any active alerts for the flooding, we may still see localized flooding as that rain moves in. And taking a look at that severe potential, at least the setup that brings us that chance, it's something called a cold core tornado setup. So first you need a closed off mid-level upper pressure system, but of course you need something closer to the surface, which that's currently what we have right now. So that center of low pressure is at the surface and it has a lot of boundaries right near it. And that combination will bring us this little window that is most likely to bring that area of tornado to develop. That window falls right over northern Illinois, bringing us that potential of a one out of five when it comes to your severe thunderstorm outlook. That's the entire area in the green color you're seeing. Although the potential is low, it still exists and brief tornadoes are going to be the biggest concern along with damaging wind gusts and hail. Let's break it all down here on Future Track. You can obviously see that threat of heavy rain as we take a look closer to about the 10 o'clock hour this morning. That moves through. You could see those areas of localized flooding, but that severe threat still sticks with us. This is closer to noon, and you may even see that into your early afternoon. Now about 2.30, these showers and storms will continue even into your evening, may become just a little bit less scattered and more isolated as we head throughout our Monday, but here 10 o'clock, still seeing those showers and storms moving in. So again, that severe potential is going to take us to your early afternoon, a little a, a different of a timing. So make sure you're staying weather aware, not typically when we see that threat. Your temperatures will fall into those, or I should say just climb into the low 70s this afternoon as all that activity moves out. We'll end up dropping into the 50s overnight as we begin to dry off. That'll bring us sunshine into your Tuesday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we have another chance for showers and storms into your Thursday before we really crank up the heat. The 90s return this weekend, Manny.